Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance Teddy Santis Main USA 990v3 in the Raw Amethyst and Navy colorway. So this is the first pair to kick off the latter half of the Teddy 16, and I'm really excited to see how colorful it is, as well as the other pairs from the latter half. This is by far the hairiest suede on any of the Teddy 16 pairs, and it's excellent in hand. As usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, quality, and design of the shoe. Starting with the box, the raw amethyst colorway comes in this special Teddy 16 box that's blue and white instead of the standard cream and red. I'm not too sure if other colorways will come in this box as well. Uh, two other colorways from the latter half that I got, the red 990v2 and the scarlet v3, uh, came in the uh, regular box, so I'm wondering if more colorways will come in this box. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mudguard of the shoe is made out of hairy amethyst suede. The middle of the toe box is made out of navy mesh, and surrounding the toe box are panels of light gray suede, and at the very bottom of the toe box is a small panel of dark gray 3M reflective material. Moving towards the middle of the shoe, you get more panels of that navy mesh, more panels of that hairy amethyst suede. Uh, the lace eyelets are also made out of the amethyst suede. Suede. You also get a uh, amethyst plastic lace eyelet at the very top and in the very middle you get the New Balance N logo in orange with a gray and white border. And moving towards the back of the shoe you get more panels of that amethyst suede, more panels of that navy mesh, as well as another panel of light gray suede. And you also get the 990 branding printed on in orange, the same orange as the N logo. Moving towards the very back of the shoe you get a continuation of that big panel of amethyst suede. At the very top you get a panel of perforated 3M reflective material in dark gray. It also has uh, Made in USA branding on it and in the middle you get a small panel of gray nubuck with the New Balance NB badge in orange and white in a metallic plastic material and at the very bottom you get a gray TPU heel clip with the New Balance spell out. And the medial side of the shoe is the same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of color and materials. The shoes come with a set of flat navy laces and a set of flat white laces. I opted for the white laces to add more contrast. And those laces weave on top of a navy mesh tongue. And at the very top of the shoe you get a black polyester panel with the signature 990 v 3 pattern with New Balance USA branding in orange and silver. The ankle lining and back of the tongue are made out of a white mesh material. The insoles of the shoes are made out of a regular foam material and the top of the insole is lined in a bright orange color and it has the New Balance NB branding printed on in black. The midsole of the shoe is made out of cream white and gray foams. Uh, the 990v3 utilizes New Balance's signature end cap technology which gives the user a great combination of cushioning and firmness with that stiff polyurethane heel cradle with that soft EVA core. And finally moving on towards the outsole of the shoe you get the standard 990v3 outsole in black, gray, and purple rubbers. So now that the overview of the shoe is out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, the 990v3 in the raw amethyst colorway fits like every other 990v3 and every other 990v3 in the Teddy 16 for that matter, and I recommend going down half a size. I am a true size 9.5 and, and I got these in a size 9 and they fit me well. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. For my 3 factor comfort rating for the 990v3, I give it a 6 out of 10 for softness, a 6 out of 10 for firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape. The 990v3 is a very comfortable shoe. You get a really supportive midsole shape and uh, you get a good amount of softness without it being too overly 
overly soft or squishy and a good amount of firmness to back it up without it being too overly stiff or firm on your feet. Uh, it's a very excellent and comfortable shoe and you can even run in them. As for quality, this 990v3 is on par with all the other Teddy 16 pairs that came before it. Uh, it's very high quality and this by far has the most amount of hairy suede on it and I was really blown away by the, the good quality hairy suede. I mean it's everywhere, it's not just in the toe box and in the back, it's also in the mid panel and the, the suede is just really hairy and very soft and buttery to the touch so I was really impressed with the shoe. The meshes and the regular suede were also great in hand and as for a craftsmanship perspective I had absolutely no problems on my end whatsoever. Overall I was really impressed with this pair not just in the quality of the materials but with the colorway itself. Uh, this colorway is very loud and very fire. I love the amethyst and navy contrast with the pop of the orange. I think it's a very excellent colorway. I, I You guys know I love my loud colorways and I'm really excited to add a loud colorway from the Teddy 16 to my collection. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and guides and I'll catch you guys in the next one.